Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas that is meant to be nothing more than a sketch for a much larger canvas and we will have to see how things go and it's a really strange idea that I've got but um, I think I'm just going to go for it with some colors that I like Initially, that turquoise is really strong. It might have been the wrong color to use in the beginning. Maybe I will add a little bit of something different to that. I just cleared all my tips. I just spent 20 minutes clearing all my tips. I guess I was wrong about that. Still time to... There is something in there that I want out very much. Sometimes that tip just seems very small. Whoa. Okay, so that's fine. <laughs> We get what we get. So my idea is to just go ahead and use my card and to keep moving from the center out with different colors. And on a larger canvas, I want to do it in layers. This one, I'm not so sure what's going to happen. And I got some stuff along the edge of that card that I wish wasn't there. So it's, not, it's good to have a nice straight edge. And what else am I going to put in there? I'm just practicing right now. So I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to try and leave the original colors, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'm going to press that down so it's sort of more like a dip. It doesn't matter if it goes all the way to the outside edge. I don't think, anyway. How about some gold in there? I like doing two colors at once. This may wind up being somewhat quick. It also may not, since I've never done this before. I'm very interested to see how it goes. A lot of people are doing um, dip flower paintings, and I, I think they're pretty. They're just not, um, not what I want to do because it's too easy. I need some kind of learning curve. Now, I think if I use different size pieces of acetate, that's a gunmetal. That's an Anita's black, which is much less black and a whole lot more gray. Now at a some certain point here, I'm going to have to clean off my card. And I didn't wet my rag. Always have a studio rag, Andy. Oh, and nice and wet. Well, wet and wrung out, anyway. So you can wipe off your Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, which are on the, inst uh, excuse me, yeah, really, on the Amazon link. Um, I'm going to play with some more colors just to see what happens. Like I said, if I use a smaller card, a graduated card, one that goes to the outside, from the inside small and just keep using a larger card on the outside, I think that's going to work. But since we haven't gone there yet, and this is my first try, I don't know how that's going to work. This is a variation on the geometrics, but obviously it's not geometrics. But it is going to be kind of fun to play with, just to over keep laying color over other colors. And you can just press that card right down so it's more like a dip. Even if you get a little fugly color, you could probably put another color right on it. I haven't used any yellow yet. I think I'm going to use some right now. I, I think things, <laughs> like like my tips are cleared. I think, I think stuff like that. I'm going to use that color right there. So this is like, it just reminds me of uh, tissue paper laid over tissue paper or a collage of some kind. And this is, since this is my first try, I'll be getting the feel of, ooh, I can use the corners too. That's a great idea. Just use the corners. I kind of like this right in here. I wonder if I can use that corner like that. I'm not sure that's my favorite method, but I'm not sure I hate it either. I kind of want to continue with the, either the, uh, yeah, <laughs> either the geometrics or the points. Either way, I'm going to have to remember to clean off my card so that when I'm using colors that are not dark colors, I think I want some other orange in there. This is sort of a starburst. I think I want some more of that. 
and I like that yellow. I haven't used it enough, nearly enough gold. But you can't go back in the center again. That's the trick, I think. That's my assumption anyway at this point. I can, I can run that card right across. And I can continue to dip. I could actually put some paint right on the card, I think. Yeah. So that way you get a whole nother kind of coloring. I think I want some back in here, even if I'm breaking my rule. I do break my rules. <laughs> That's what they're there for. They're there to be broken. But I am trying to move from the inside out and not go back again. I don't know if it's working perfectly, but that's what I'm trying. And I can use the corner, like I said, and that's kind of fun. I like it. I think I recommend it, actually. It's just a different kind of way of doing stuff. And I'm going to try and pay attention to, you know, the colors and the shapes I've got going so I get something I like. I'm going to, sometimes I'm going to put it right on the card and pull it out. Just, maybe I can go back in and cheat a little. Maybe I can't. Yep, I don't mind that point. I don't know how much of it. I kind of want, still want things radiating out from the center. I think I'm almost done. So I will tell you as I continue to play with this for another minute that I haven't used any white. Um, that I have an Amazon link below the video. And I have a book on that Amazon link as well as this gold mica powder, which I will give anybody the recipe for should they want to order the gold mica powder. It's very brave of me to go back in the middle. It's probably not what I should be doing. But I like the gold. And I think that's pretty. It's a diff way different kind of starburst. And I wonder if I can pull it out sideways a little bit. Maybe a little more. I want some more gold over there. But the colors are just going to keep changing up and changing up as you add to them. I think I want to try some magenta. I'm going to cut some really thin strips, I think. Oh yeah, wow. That's intense. Maybe a little more of that. <laughs> I think so. And I know that I can always go in if I want some lines and just manipulate the painting with the edge of the card. I'd like it to be a little cohesive, like in look like it's meant to be a little bit, as opposed to accidental art, which it really is for the most part, most of the time. It's, it's a little hard to decide when it's done. I don't have enough of that. I like that purple in there. I don't really want to lose it. And I can, there's my gold. I know, I started to tell you guys that there's Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook albums underneath the video at the bottom of the description, and then I get distracted by what I'm doing. Um, and I'm not doing it the way I said I would, and I will at some point in time get back to trying to start at the center and work my way out. But in the meantime, I'm still having too much fun to, to change <laughs> The fact that I break my rules. I'm so sorry. I think smaller can work. I think at some point in time I could probably attempt chain. I like that line. It just occurred to me I'd like to put a line in there, so I did. And um, maybe this is some somewhat of a background. So I can add some more lines. Maybe not a lot of them, but maybe some. We shall see. It's becoming an abstract expressionist piece really quickly. And I can take my card and just pick up some of that paint and put it down somewhere else. And I like the, I like the sound of that. Same for that gold right there. 
Same for this green right here. I'm leaving colors in my way. How to not do that. I like that green. Where is it? Right there. Maybe I want the turquoise instead this time because it's so similar. So it's a radiating geometric. I'm going to have to call it that because that's what it is. It's a very abstract expressionist. It's also very cool. I'm going to have an interesting time touching up my edges. I want some of that paint over here. This didn't go exactly as planned, but um, I will try to learn from this experience and, uh, and modify my next one. I'll try and pick up most of that paint and just spread it around a little bit. I like to change things up. I like to discover new ways of doing things. And I can tip that. Excuse me. I thought I could tip that. I'm not really sure that I can. I have some Prussian blue and I still want some of that. I didn't put enough white in there. I can tell tell right now that I would like I would like for my tips to stay open. <laughs> ah. Yeah. And now I'm wearing some of that paint. <laughs> oh well, never mind. I'll clean my face before I go to the store. Oh, I want to say thank you guys for all the contributions, especially lately, because I am going to go and do something I have not been allowed to do and indulge myself in for quite a while, which is um, buy some gallery-wrapped level 3 canvases, which I'm very much looking forward to playing with um, in some of these geometric forms and so on and so forth. So where was I? I was I was telling you guys I give lessons at the house. I did one yesterday and uh, I also sell my artwork and <laughs> you guys can find all my products that I've ever put my artwork on. Yes, that's a lot of gold right there. I'm not afraid of it though. Just going to move it over. Radiate it out a little bit. I think the colors are working okay. I kind of want a little more of that magenta. It was pretty stellar. I keep interrupting myself. <laughs> oh well, never mind. I don't have any of my color shift blue in there and I still haven't put any white in. I think if I do put some white in, it's going to have to be that white pearl. Let me see. My, uh, my young guest yesterday cleaned off the paint from around my bottle tops, which makes it kind of interesting to... Uh, to know which white is which, but... Oh, please, come out. There we go. Yay! Alright, so here goes nothing. I'm going to try the white pearl. And hopefully, it'll be a good thing. Just dragging it down with the card just a little bit. Maybe I'll try and put it on the edge. This is all before I do anything larger. Let's have a little bit of that there. Now, like I said, my original idea, my intention was to start in the middle with a small card <laughs> and radiate out larger, but it became increasingly <laughs> noticeable that it's a small canvas and uh, that wasn't going to happen with this one. So we'll try that again with another one. This looks like it's something that might need to be framed just because uh, I'm not all the way to my edges where I'd like to be. And I'd be covering, I'd be taking, oh, I don't know, half an hour to cover my edges with all the colors that are in the center. I don't want any particular center. I just want a radiating bunch of colors. I love that pink. I don't think it will stay. It often darkens. I really would like to have some of this stuff go to the outside. I wonder if I could just run a color along the outside that I really like, like that pink and maybe some gold, but um, I just put that down. So I'm going to do that and see how I like it, and I do like it. <laughs> not, it's not just a cheat. I can pick up any of the paint that I've got there. I can 
add it to the artwork and create some more texture. It's a very spontaneously designed, abstract, expressionist piece of art that has something to do with accidental art, but more with just keep on moving and adding colors that you like. And uh, don't stop until you really like what you've got. And try not to make too much mud by figuring out which colors make mud <laughs> while you're playing. All right, so I've gone almost as far as I want to go. And I'm going to say, we got a minute, 22 seconds left. I know I got a card around here somewhere. I'll try and remember it. So in the last 20 seconds of the video, there are end screens. And you can find a playlist there and my web page and a <laughs> subscribe button. And you can find the prizes on a video most months. This month, right at the moment, um, it's, I think they're 20 by 20s. I'm not certain anymore because it's been a while since I looked. But I put all that stuff up there asking you also for, um, please watch as much of the video as you can. It helps me out, helps my placement, helps my income very much on YouTube. And you guys have been great about that. Thank you so much. And uh, look for my book on the Amazon link, like I said. Yeah, I like that magenta a lot. Too much not to put some more in there. Um, I know I missed stuff. I know I did. Um, <laughs> I love your comments. Keep making them. I get back to you as soon as I can. You can ask whatever qu questions you want. If you want to find my Facebook, uh, Facebook shop now button, it will take you to my Pixels and Fine Art America, where I've been posting since 2013, and there's some awesome fun products there. I did ask for your thumbs up. I really need it. It helps my, my uh, YouTube video placement. And uh, thank you for over 55,000 subscribers, which is probably 56,000 by now. And that gives me just two more minutes and I don't need them because I think we're done. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio going, I love you guys. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate you. And I'm going to be touching up my edges for, for a bit. So it may or may not look exactly like it does now, but it'll be pretty close. And uh, that was kind of fun. And it's definitely pretty. And... Nobody wants to tell me it looks like spin art, even though it does. <laughs> it will be a, a lot different when we do it on a larger canvas, and I'm going to pick up some 20 by 20s today, so um, expect one of those with more square card shapes coming out. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.